Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to move the ship around the screen by using the input buttons. Now, when we're using the simulator, we're going to use the arrow keys to handle the gamepad left, right, up, and down. So let's go into our code then. And if we go down here into our update, you'll notice that all we're doing is getting the gamepad data, but we're not actually doing anything with it. So we're going to modify this to actually make use of this variable gamepad data. Now, in programming, we have the ability to do a conditional expression. And the code is going to look like this. It's going to say if, and then I'm going to have an open and closed parentheses. And I'm going to place inside this open and closed parentheses the thing that I'd like to evaluate. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to know, is the gamepad button left, right, up, or down being pressed? And I can do that by using my gamepad data. And I want to look at specifically the buttons variable of this. But you'll notice that I have quite a few things that I can look at. I can look at the analog stick in the left and the right. I can also look at the buttons information. So all of the buttons like the top left, top right, the triangle, X, circle, and square, as well as the up, down, left, and right can be queried here. So what I'd like to do is look at the buttons. And this actually has quite a lot of information about it. Notice that all of the buttons are represented in this single thing. So I want to specifically look at the left button. So what I'd like to do is do a bitwise AND with this. So it's a single ampersand sign. And that's going to look at all of the data in the buttons and logically AND it with the next thing that's coming here. And I want to look at gamepad buttons, which is a constant and then compare it with the left. So what this is going to do is it's going to say, is the buttons that are being pressed, does that contain the left button? Because I can push more than one button at a time. Okay, I'm going to actually look at this whole thing, and I want to make sure that it's not equal to zero. So I've got this exclamation equals, which means not equal to. The double equal would say, is it equal to? And the exclamation equal or the bang equal means not equal to. So if the left button is being pressed and I take the set of buttons that are being pressed and bitwise and it with this constant for the left button, then it's going to give me a number back or a, a true false back. And I want to say if it's zero, that means the button is not down. But if it's not zero, that means that the button is down. So if this conditional expression that I've got here evaluates to be true, then I'm going to run this code that's here in these curly braces. But if it's false, if in this case the left button is not down, then it's going to skip whatever code I put here. So if the left button is being pressed, I'm going to run this code. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to move the position of the X on the ship to be increased or sorry, to be decreased by one. So I'm going to say, if the left button is down, that means I'm trying to move to the left, which means I want to go to the left or less in the x direction. Because remember, all the way on the left-hand side of the screen, x is equal to 0. So I've got this special command called minus minus, which is going to decrease x. Now this is the same thing as saying that the ship's position in the x is equal to the ship's position minus 1. I could write it either way. So in this case, if the left button is down, I want to move the ship's x position back by one pixel. Okay. Now I can copy and paste this code, because what I'd like to do is then look to see, is the right button pressed? And if so, I'd like to move to the right, which means I'm going to increase the x value of the ship's position by one, meaning I want to increase x, and that's going to move the ship to the right. Okay. Let's run this now, and we'll see what we get. Okay, so here's my ship. It's centered here. And if I press the left arrow key, I'm going to move to the left. And if I press the right arrow key, I'm going to move to the right. Now, I'm not handling the up and down buttons yet. And the ship is moving pretty slow, but we can fix that. So I just wanted to show here that using my conditional expressions, if the left button is down, I'm going to adjust the x position to decrease by 1. Or if the right button is down, I'm going to increase the x position by 1. So what do you think it's going to look like if I want to handle the movement in the vertical? How about if gamepad data dot buttons bitwise anded with gamepad buttons dot up is not equal to 0, meaning the up 
button is being pressed, then I'm going to set the ship's position. Oops, typo there. I'm going to set the ship's position in the Y to be decreased by 1. So let's just do the minus minus there. Because if you're pressing up, I want Y to be decreased because that means I'm moving closer to the top of the screen. And I can cut and paste this and let's say that you're pressing the down button then I can increase the Y value by one by doing the Y plus plus. Now remember that the Y plus plus and the Y minus minus are equal to the same thing as ship position Y is equal to ship position Y plus one. Okay, so that's just shorthand, the plus plus operator. And minus minus is shorthand for this ship position Y equals ship position Y minus one. So we can just comment that out. We certainly don't want to do both, but they are equivalent to each other. So let's run this, and now we should be able to move the ship in both the horizontal and the vertical direction. So here is my vertical movement by pressing the up and the down, and here's my horizontal by pressing the left and the right. And I can actually hold down multiple buttons at the same time, and I can move along the diagonal. So if I'm holding the left and the down button, then both the X and the Y are going to be adjusted. Okay, that's a little slow, so why don't we improve this? Let's say I want to move it by a factor of four, and I'm gonna swap out which of these I've been commented. All right, so now let's actually move by a factor of four, and instead of doing subtraction by one or addition by one in the X and the Y, I can just do minus four or plus four. Let's run this, and now we get some good movement of our ship. It's going pretty nicely there. Okay, so one more thing before we're done with this. I've got another shorthand notation. In addition to the plus plus and the minus minus, I've also got, I've got minus equal, and that means instead of just going down by one in the minus minus case, I'm saying minus equal four is the same thing as saying ship position x equals ship position x minus four. So these two lines are really the same thing. And I could do the same thing here, ship position x plus equal four, because I've got the minus equal and the plus equal. I've got the plus plus and the minus minus, and I've got the equal sign. So I can do basic arithmetic operations, and I can shorthand these as well. So I don't want to do both of them. So let's comment out the one that we're not going to be using. And we'll do the same thing here. Minus equal four, right? And then finally, I can do ship position y plus equal four. And comment that out, because I only want to do one of them. Okay, so now I've got this notion of adjusting the X and the Y using plus equal or minus equal here. And I should get the exact same behavior as we move around. Yeah. All right, so there's our ship moving about the screen. Great. Okay, so I'm just going to take out these that we commented. You can see that they are equivalent. And I can do quite a few arithmetic operations. I could even declare a variable here and say int speed equals four, which is the same thing as saying int speed, creating a variable, and then saying speed equals four. Right? It's just a shorthand notation to combine both of those things. In this case, I want an integer called speed, and then I want to assign the value four into it. So then I could use my variable instead of value four, and that way I don't have to adjust it in a bunch of different places. I've just got this one place now where I can modify this. Just to prove that this works, let's go ahead and run this. And you see that we get it moving around just like we had before. But now, if I wanted to, I could change my movement just by adjusting it in one spot, because I'm adjusting the position in the X and the Y by the speed variable. And if we run this now, we'll get a very, very fast ship. All right? So you notice that I can actually move off the screen, and that's problematic. I don't really want that to happen. So in the next tutorial, we'll look at the position of the ship and we will not allow it to move off the screen. All right, so the takeaway for this tutorial is the fact that I can use conditional expressions using this if, and I can look at the button's state and do a bitwise comparison, meaning I want to see, is the left button part of the buttons that are being pressed? 
And if that is not zero, meaning the fact that the left button is down would give me a non-zero value, then I want to adjust the position of the ship and the X and the Y accordingly, depending on the button that's being pressed. I can declare a variable here, like this, with int speed, and set it a value. And I can use minus equal and plus equal. I can use plus plus and minus minus to help me do my arithmetic in my programs. Okay, that'll do it for this tutorial. And we'll pick up next time and keep the ship on the screen.